In Germany and rapidly rising coronavirus infections have prompted action from the authorities. The capital, Berlin, has joined Frankfurt and Cologne on the list of cities where new cases have exceeded a key measure. Bars and restaurants have to close early, but there's some doubt about whether the new restrictions will be enough to stop the spike. 11 p.m. and it's pouring with rain. But that doesn't stop these young people here in Berlin. Neither does the rise in coronavirus infections. In the past few weeks, the police have had to clear public squares and parks. People were ignoring hygiene and social distancing rules. Now the city is cracking down. Since the end of the summer holidays, the focus has shifted to young people who got infected during leisure activities. Especially in pubs, people get infected because they don't keep their distance when it gets late. The new rules are strict. No more than five people can gather at 11 at night. Private parties will be limited to 10 instead of 25 guests. Bars, restaurants and kiosks will also have to close between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. Bartender Django is frustrated. That time is crucial for us. That's when the bar is running at full swing with lots of customers around. And then to say you have to leave now, we're not allowed to serve you anymore. That's the end for us. And what happens after young people have to leave the bars at 11 o'clock? Will they actually go home? I'm not planning to go home at 11. I want to live my life and enjoy it as much as possible. Those who want to drink will get their drinks beforehand. They get alcohol from the supermarket and drink it anyway until 5 a.m., no matter whether the bars or clubs are open. Of course I want to go out for dinner in the evenings and sit together after 11. But personally, I want to take people with a higher infection risk into consideration. I can step back. The new restrictions are set to remain in force until the end of this month. But if infections keep rising, the curbs could be extended. Meanwhile, France is struggling to contain a drastic rise in coronavirus cases. Officials reported a record 20,000 new infections on Friday alone. The government imposed one of Europe's strictest lockdowns back in the spring and has stepped up its testing program. But despite these efforts, they weren't able to stop the onset of a second wave. France was hit especially hard in the spring at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. That's why the country ramped up tests and is now carrying out more than one million per week. Like in this lab, led by Jean-Jacques Jiménez. He says the situation has improved. Given the fact that the requests were twice as high, we had to make sure that we could technically carry out the number of tests requested. Today, this situation is currently being resolved. But rapid testing is not the only solution. Cases are especially high in big cities like Paris, where the density of population is very high. This hospital in Pontoise, north of Paris, was going through a hard time during the first wave. Edouard Devaux is coordinating the COVID-19 response here. He sees another main reason for the rise in numbers in France. The French population suffered a huge trauma during the first wave. Nevertheless, with another wave, we're seeing a relative lax behavior in people. Devaux says personal responsibility is key in fighting the virus, keeping a safe distance and meeting as few people as possible. But since the virus is now heavily circulating in France, the government is toughening rules. In Paris, for example, bars have to close down for now. And now some of the other latest developments in the pandemic. Confirmed coronavirus cases in India are nearing 7 million, but there are hopes the rate of new infection is slowing. Authorities are warning that Europe's second wave of infections has struck well before the flu season has even started. They point to widespread COVID-19 fatigue among populations. And everywhere in Poland, is now it's now become compulsory for people to wear masks outdoors. 
Infections have also hit a new record high there.